Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Fellow believers, brethren, um, my students in this class, God bless you, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome today to this broadcast. My name is Sister Atel. I'm a missionary and a teaching evangelist. I have uh, today something small for you, which is in the uh, student uh, discipleship class. And the topic is called uh, Loose Lips sink the ship if your mouth is loose you can sink your ship amen amen so let's go straight to the scriptures and that will be in uh, psalm 141 let's go there straight and see what the bible is saying you know because god created everything with his word his word is powerful and you as a born again christian as a speaking spirit you have to believe that your word also is powerful okay amen your word is powerful we are speaking in spirit we are created in god's image as the same like god and see what david said here in the book of psalms let's read it together what the book of psalms says the book of psalms says that david was speaking here he said that in verse 3 he says set a watch O lord before my lips keep the doors of my lips you know, set a watch before my lips and keep the doors of my lips. So what I wanted to say today that our mouth is a door, you know. So David was know already that we have to set a watch. There's another scripture that he said that David said, the enemy said, I will watch my mouth what I speak because there are enemies that are before me. So we have to watch our mouth what to speak because the, the demons, the principalities, the powers, the familiar spirits, and even also the angels, uh, they are all there watching what we say because the um, the bible says that uh, god uh, in the book of um, psalm 103 the bible says that the angels they hearken into the word of god and they do what the word of god says if you read also the book of uh, romans i mean uh, hebrews hebrews uh, 3 hebrews 3 verse um, verse 1 is talking that jesus christ is an apostle and also the high priest of our confession so our words what we speak is very very important because the bible says we shall be justified by the words of our mouth or we shall be condemned so we cannot just speak anyhow the words that we speak must match together with what we believe in our heart you know if you read now for example let's go to the book of mark uh, 11. mark 11 is talking about how god says um how God, uh, Jesus Christ was speaking to his disciples to have faith in God. Mark 11. Mark 11 verse 23 is speaking here. He said, have faith in God. That was what uh, the disciple, uh, Jesus Christ, oh, sorry. Jesus Christ was speaking here to his disciples. He said, have faith in God. You know, have faith in God because if you say to this mountain, be removed, and be be that cast into the sea, and you shall not doubt in your heart, and you believe of those things which you say shall come to pass. You shall have whatever you say. So have faith in God. This story came because Jesus Christ passed through a uh, Benetti and saw a fig tree that have leaves, and but this fig tree did not have any fruits in it. So he decided to cause this fig tree and say, "Let no man eat fruit from you hereafter." And I know some people in the world now, they will say, how can you be talking to a tree? You know, oh, how can you be speaking to the wind? But Jesus Christ called, uh, even rebuked the wind and said, peace be still. Jesus Christ speak to the, to, to, uh, to the storm. You know, Jesus Christ speak to this tree also and cause it. And this tree dry in the next 24 hours because Jesus Christ believed in the world. When Peter, they were passing the next day, Peter brought into attention and said, see, the tree that you cause is weathered right away. And Jesus Christ told them and say, have faith in God. Because if you say to this mountain, so the saying and the believing must match together. Because if you only say something and you don't believe it, what you even say, it can never come to pass. So your believing and your saying must match together. Even before you become a born again Christian, your confession, the Bible says in the book of uh, Romans 10, the book of Romans 10, if you can go there with me quickly, Romans 10 says that that uh, the word of God, Romans 10 verse 8, let's start there. Romans 10 verse 8 says that the word of God is near unto us. You know, it's near our mouth and also in our heart. And it, it is the word of faith. So our word that we speak, our confession, 
because Jesus Christ is the high priest of the faith of our confession. Even Christianity was called also the, 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 the confession, the great confession. So how it is very important, even it is through your confession that you became a born again Christian. How did you become a born again Christian? They say through the word of faith. And it says that, that if you will confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ about Jesus Christ and you believe in your heart that God have raised him from the dead you shall be saved that is how you became a born again Christian you conf you believe it and then you confess it so believing and confessing must always match together if you see in the beginning how God created the whole universe he created it through his word if you look at John 1 1 he said in the beginning if you see we also a uh, uh, Genesis 1 the Bible says that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And what did he use to create the heaven and the earth? What with his word? If you see, John 1 is also explaining about it. That he used his word that was in the beginning was the word only. And the word was that creative word that created everything. So our word is powerful. It's what creates everything. You can create uh, things that can destroy your life with your word. And you can also create good things in your life. The Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. So our words, what we speak, is very, very important. That is why David used and said in this uh, Psalm 141, and said, watch my mouth. So we have to watch our mouth what we say, well, so that we don't speak negative things. We speak things that are positive and speak things that relates to God's word and things that we know that we are sending the word and it will go and perform what the word have, you have sent the word to God. So God says that my word will not go or void. It will go and perform what he has sent it to do. Our tongue is a pen of a ready writer. So what we speak is very, very important. You know, so we have to guide best. Uh, if you read um, Proverbs, uh, Proverb, let's go to Proverbs 13, verse 3. Proverbs 13, verse 3 is talking about watching our mouth also. Proverbs 13, verse 3. It says here, he that keepeth his mouth, everyone that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. But he that open wide his lips shall also receive destruction. Everyone that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his lips. And anyone that open his mouth wide, wide open he, wide his lips shall have destruction. So you see how it is? So we have to be careful how we speak. Even the book of James explains this a lot. If you read the book of James, it explains that very well. That we have to be careful how we speak. Because your home is, he said, our tongue is like a whole, like a rather that's like, you know, like a big ship. You know, how you take the small steering, how it controls that big ship. That's how our tongue is. So your whole life can be controlled with your mouth, with your tongue. To go to the right direction or to go to destruction so that is how it is so we are like god we are created in god's image and when god saw something that was good he said let light be and then the bible says light and there was light when he was creating the whole universe he saw the darkness that was on the face of the deep and he did not say oh my god yeah darkness so much darkness but he turned and just looked at it and said light be and there was light so that is how we have to also speak we have to be careful to call those things we have to call those things that be not as if it was it was it was so we call good things in our life amen in the name of jesus there was a time that the holy spirit gave me a scripture my daughter was not feeling well was sick and i did not know how to describe this but that i was still a baby in the lord and i did not know about the law of confession so i was speaking differently i said oh this this is and this is the one i see anything or dream my spirit the lord told me no not to speak like that he said that he gave me a scripture he said let the weak say i am strong so from there he started to tell me how to confess you know to confess things that there be not as if it was let the weak say i am strong you know, the other day told me about again another vision again was telling me and, and say that oh I have my job also you keep complaining say keep stop stop, stop complaining but instead declaring I have my job oh I have my job in the name of Jesus Christ because the children of Israel when they were in the in the wilderness because of complaining that they were complaining even though God have told them to go and possess the land the only person who believed the good the word of God was Caleb and Joshua and they said we can go if you read the book of numbers 13 it explains that very well from verse 23 it was saying caleb just silenced all of them who came to bring the wrong report and was telling them that there we can go at once and collect the lab you know we can go up at once and possess it but the others they were saying no we are like grasshoppers 
because they are giants these people are this land is a land that eat up the people even though god have told them that they can go in and possess the land god has already given the land to them but they were already grumbling they were crying until god had to appear there and tell them and say okay you shall have whatever you say as you said that the, the land eat the people and you say you want to make a king and go back to egypt and you say that you will die in this wilderness okay you will die here in this wilderness and only your children will enter the promised land and what they say that is what happened to them so you see what mark 11 says he said you shall have whatever you said so you have to believe what you say and you say it for a right purpose and important thing that is going to accomplish what you say not just to speak anyhow in the name of jesus if you read the book of um ephesians the book of ephesians uh let's go to the book of ephesians 4 is talking there about um um that we should be careful that no evil communication should proceed out of our mouth you know book of ephesians 4 explains that i know that because i was having a lot of trouble in finland how to control my words and how to speak and then the lord gave me say read ephesians 4 every time you have problem but especially i mean the book of ephesians but especially ephesians 4. so that was when he was trying to uh, teach me how to speak and how to control my mouth and what i say so he told here in ephesians 4 and uh, verse 29 he said let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth you know but that which is good to use that you will use it to edify that it may minister grace unto the hearers so you have to no evil communication proceed out of your mouth god was warning me that through this scripture don't speak anything that cannot minister grace into your mouth so i was in one language school in finland where i was just learning the language here most people were telling me oh you are so quiet you know i said yeah I'm, then sometimes i'm very happy and joyful you know but most of my students or my classmates sometimes they see me are very quiet i told one lady one time uh, uh, dora or something like that she was from uh, tunisia or something she was asking me like wow sometimes you are so so quiet until we want what is wrong with you i said no i'm not it's not like that is uh, if you if i don't have something important to say or something that can edify somebody or to can encourage someone i can i don't say anything that's what i told you so oh, that is a good concept you know that was a good concept that's what she told me i said yes if i don't have anything that can import is important to encourage somebody because i learned that from the word of god i don't have anything to say i will just end, end, end up the communication or the conversation like that uh, if i said it's something i can edify somebody and, and uh, or can encourage someone then i can say something i know also another time the lord told me and said don't um he gave me a a motto that was long time ago about 2013 he was giving me this motto and said that i should not um i should always serve that my motto is only to serve but not not to um not to grumble or to compete or to where did i write that you know uh -huh. he said don't judge but serve that is what he told me don't judge don't judge people don't judge anyone because you don't understand anything you don't know what is going on don't judge but always save just save me your time here on earth just save me and save the people that have given in your face on your life to save them you save only but don't judge that is what the lord told me so that was my motto i've been using now also for more than four or five years so i don't judge i don't just open my mouth to just talk and to just judge like i see some pastor they just do condemnation and just talk so we have to be careful what we speak and how we we talk in the name of you we have to put a watch in our mouth as david says in the name of jesus amen and then um we have to behave like uh, caleb and joshua who believe god believe god's word so that we confess god's word as the book of uh, romans 10 says that if we believe in our heart and we confess with our mouth we will become a born again christian we believe that jesus christ that is, uh, was died for our sin and rose again we will become a believe, uh, born again christian so we, the believing part is one part but the same part we can say three times you see if you say and if you say to this mountain be removed be cast into the sea and you have no doubt in your heart you shall have whatever you say so we have to believe one time in our heart but we have to say what we are saying maybe three times and you believe in your heart the believing and the saying must communicate together 
so that your words that you say you believe your words because if you say to something and say die like jesus christ told the fig tree to die and he believed it and the fig tree died so what that's what they were asking i said wow see the, the, they heard him when he said but they did not believe that the fig tree would die but when they saw the fig tree that it was dead that is why they said oh god was said teaching them and say have that same type of faith because if you say because that's how God created everything by saying, He said, let light be, let this one be, let that one be. And everything it came to pass was created according to his word. So we are also this speaking in spirit. The angels are there watching our word, what we say. The demons are also there watching our word, what we say. The enemy cannot do you anything when you are born again, Christian, but only your own words that you speak. That is what the enemy can use to destroy you. Amen. So we have to be careful how we what we speak in the name of jesus christ as i said before that we should have uh, be careful with our words in the name of the lord jesus christ in jesus name so that we don't sink our ship amen we don't sink our good ship that uh, god has given unto us our life is like a ship so that we don't sink our own ship so that we can take the little this thing because it's a loose lips will sink the ship if you your mouth is loose and you just talk anywhere it will sink your ship amen so this is a small encouraging today i just wanted to encourage you to wash your mouth and to wash your lips what you say in the name of jesus speak the word of god only in the mighty name of jesus christ because the angels are watching the, the they are hearing what you say they will perform the words the bible says that god will hesitate to perform his word according to what you speak and what you confess in the name of jesus if you speak negative things and bad things that like the children of israel were murmuring in the in the